Hello and welcome back to our Roman Romans campaign in Imperator Rome. We're getting ready for war. We're at seventy-five percent on the claim on Lingonia, and then uh, they die. Insubri dies. Boy dies, and then we're probably going to have a civil war. No, no. What the plan is, uh, Boy is going to give me this territory and their territory here. I'm going to get this in Subria and uh, and Lingonia will will not be giving me all that much. And that will be that for now. Uh, also, Ancona needs to be released. But yeah, boy is going to be full annexed. Legis Actionis, the recent work of deceased plebeian jurist Gnaeus Flavius. That was the head... Was he not the head of the party at one point? He's a friend of the party leader. Oh, never mind then. Um, he, didn't he, he was deceased. Nice, oh no, nice Flavius. That was the previous leader of the uh, populist faction who's now dead. Um, his Legios Actiones, or Actions in Law, is the first written account of the legal procedures of Rome. The importance of this work propelled him to the office of Tribune of the Plebs and garnered him wide popular support, a legacy which is now being celebrated by politicians like Gnaeus Sempronius. The full extent and interpretation of our laws has, until now, been a verbal tradition of our judiciary. And Flavius's attempt to codify parts of our legal procedures for a wider audience has not been wholly appreciated. Some patricians argue a public airing of our sacred laws by a plebeian, no less, threatens their traditional prerogative over government positions in the laws of Rome, while the populace welcome greater rights and uh, participation for the plebs. So, uh, transparency can only benefit our legal system. Uh, friend of the pli party leader, uh, Nias, leader of the populists? No. He's just a, he's just a regular old populist. Uh, gains popularity and prominence. Populist faction is promoted. No, Rome gets legis actionis, uh, and for twenty years, freedom, happiness, and enact law cost. Or can't undo the damage, but you can control it. I lose even more popularity. Nias loses loyalty. Uh, civic faction gets promoted, but still the freemen and uh, freemen are happier. I, I get some tyranny as well. That seems fine. We we can control the damage. Tyranny is... F no one cares about tyranny. Tyranny is great. Tyranny also gives you war score cost reduction as well. So it's taken... In the Livy Patch, war score cost reduction techs and things are reduced. Um, but you do get, you know, half of your... Um, tyranny as war, co war score cost reduction so that's pretty nice I think um, at the moment what do I want probably aggressive expansion change honestly that seems like the best one for me right now I've got quite a lot I need to get it down I need to get it down we also need this to start converting we now have a claim good start moving our pops in no, our pops Start moving our troops into position. We're actually just going to go for um, boy first. This army is the one that's going to go up to Spina, or maybe like Ferraria, and hold off. Where where have you got supply limit there in Ferraria? 44, that's perfect. Let's get our fleet into position as well. You've got seven ships there. That is your entire fleet. Good. So you're going to be the one that takes on the small stacks of Lingonians and Insubrians. You're going to be the one sieging Lucca and then going into this mountain fort. I don't relish the idea of fighting there, but needs must and all that. As soon as you arrive, we're going to go. Let's uh, slow down to speed four so I don't rush ahead of myself. We're going to take even more bloody uh, tyranny, but uh, hey-ho. In Serbia, boy, Decatia, Desiatia, whatever, something like that, it's fine. Doing it, 11, 11 tyranny. Let's move here first, so that we can get the fleet undocked and murdered. Council of Veltalonia has taken it upon themselves to free a sizable quantity of privately owned slaves. Yep, I'll take the five uh, popularity, sure, why not? Oh, you had low maintenance, did you? Well, uh... Good luck with that. Also, I would like this fight. 
Your ships are dead. Fantastic. And we are currently fighting them here. It seems like it's going to be a good fight for me. You can go to Lucca. Let's continue having a look over here. Yeah, we're going to win that handily. Although they do have more discipline than I do. Tribune of the Soldiers is what's giving you it. Mm, you're making another fault there. There's not much I can do. Oh, good lord. Yeah, you need to bugger right the fuck off. I am no able to fight that. Maybe what you can do then is come around here. Oh, I think actually you're just retreating to here. And if that is the case, I can hopefully stack wipe you. Yes. Okay. I have a new ruler, Metius Fabius. He is much more popular. He's not a populist, which is good. And we need a new orator. Sempronius Vilens. Uh, 10 charisma. No, uh, no statesmanship, but that's fine because it doesn't affect anything here. So yes, we'll go with you. We might want to swap you out. We've only got seven civics, so I don't mind swapping you out, especially when we could put someone like... God, they're all bloody populists. Let's put Surter in. Fuck you, populist. Anyway, hopefully we'll get this on a stack wipe. Uh, we did not. We barely killed any, actually. But we can retreat. Let's go to... If we get to here, then... Uh, they can't follow us, but... It's, it's going to be rough, actually. Yeah, we're being trapped in the north. It's not good. You are going to be gone by the 28th of January. If I move here... I can't move there. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of boned then, aren't I? Where can I even go? This army needs to not be in combat, though. That fort is a pain. There's nothing I can do about it. If you're going south, I'm going to try and hit this army. I'm going to do what cavalry are good at, attacking where they are weakest and ignoring the strong ones. Anything that will help me. Army weight modifier would help. Run call Japanese would help. Sapping is going to help the most, though. We outnumber them. We've won the Siege of Lucca. Fucking good. Right. So we've got a choice now. We can either push further in try and take this mountain fort or we can go and relieve this I'm going to go for the mountain fort actually I'm first going to go here and then go to the mountain fort or do I even need to you go here good victory you're going to get stack wiped here good and now we're going to retreat again to Batavium can you capture it no you can slave raid though Yeah, we back off. We wait until something else interesting happens. We can't fight this. Not without the first legion. Right, you've won that siege. Now we move on the mountain fort. Right, we now see your army as well. If you weren't in a forest, I would totally go for you. Anyway, so disagreement on the highest level. We can side with Publius. Which means he would gain 10 loyalty. He is the party leader of the military faction. Or we could side with Quintus, which is our censor. He's also part of the military faction. Uh, I'm going to side with Publius, the, the, the faction leader. That sounds like a really good idea. So, let's get in there. Oh, maybe we should have been in a position to attack something down here. So, you are now sieging me. Bit of a siege race. I guess what I can do is like kind of bait him to leave his siege by trying to siege him instead. We can kill this very easily. Oh, suck out in that. Right. I want you to go to the farmland, honestly. That'll be the best thing for me, but. Oh, yes, 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 keep going. A 
attack you in the farm. Like, yes, there's a river crossing, but at least there's not a river and a forest that I have to fight in. He's winning the siege race so far. Can we bait you off by sieging in Subria? He's really... Oh, actually, we're winning the siege race now. We need to win faster. Uh, we need a new researcher. Uh, well, let's go with someone uh, who is part of the religious faction. That seems pretty reasonable. He's only 34 as well, so you can be a researcher for a long, long time. Pisse is currently losing uh, food. I think Pisse down here somewhere. No, it's right here. It's oh, I want to go one city here. I don't care enough. Do you care? I don't think he cares. I mean, what we could do is just balls to the wall, attack him, give it a shot. We're gonna lose, but we might be able to. I don't know, do enough damage to him that he's not going to want to fight. Although he's not flanking me right now, so I am killing more than I'm losing. And then he replaces his dead units with more units that are weak against me. I'm not going to win this, I'm fairly certain of it. But I can delay him. I've started to lose units now, so I'm going to retreat to Senegalica. We lost 3,000. They lost 3,500. We won Forum Novum. Good. Now what we're going to do is force march over here. It might be possible. We might get there in time. So I do some re unit reorganization on this army, and then we're going to do it again. We're going to keep fighting these fuckers. Once, one at a time. You're going to get one more roll. Hopefully you don't get it on a 21. Although it's actually not a 21. It is a 29% chance. Come on, cross your fingers, everyone. Wait, are we arriving? 17th of January. Yeah, he's going to get that roll. He fails. We're going to win the, the race. And your army is going to melt. Just, just fucking melting. Unfortunately, they did raise Ravenna. Which is not... Exactly ideal. Alright, time to go for Insubria. Actually, let's get Ravenna back. And then we'll get Spina back. We also need to get our food back. At the moment, we are losing food in our own territory because we don't own the capital. There we go. Now we gain 13 food a month. Uh, you are making not enough. You're, you're trying to resupply everybody that's not gonna work we're gaining 13 a month hmm that's fine fuck it we're going in you need to stop reorganizing go and retake Spina and then I think what you're gonna do is go over to Portus Veneris and then anytime they try and siege the mountains we are going to stop them right scorn family because the Prefectus Militaris has died so, who is it that wants the job? It's the Sempronii. Uh, you're good at civic. You're good at nothing. More green names, here we go. You're, you're a populist. You're good at civic. Can I put you in civic instead? Are you good? Oh, there we go. So we're going to put um, Gnaeus Sempronius as our Pontifex Maximus. He's all the way at the top. There he is. Nice Sempronius is going to be our Pontifex Maximus, and then our new Prefectus is going to be Tiberius Sempronius. Everyone's happy. Everyone's good at their jobs. It's just going really well on that front. <laughs> You've got boats. Why do you have boats? You don't need boats. All right, you're going to dock up. There's no point in you being out. You can't siege this. Apparently, I've got two forts here. Yeah, uh, that's going to change. 
gonna take back this and then I'm gonna try take on that army doesn't look like it's gonna happen so maybe I'll just do my original that's an interesting way of doing things Troubling developments recently we have seen that our magistrate, Proculus Claudius Sasus, as well as those under his charge, have been doing a disappointing job. It seems people having issues with them keeping reporting back to us on how difficult they are to work with. When talking with the man, he claims it's simply a matter of bureaucracy. So I could put him in the dungeon for two tyranny. I could lose some money and gain some corruption. I don't want to do that. Um, or I can... Just have him lose 20 loyalty. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have him lose 20 loyalty. He's at 100, so it doesn't matter. I could attack this army. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see what happens if I attack this army. It's got bloody low loyalty. Sorry, um, morale. I'm assuming they're going to run very quickly. Yes, and I managed to kill your uh, units. Oh, that was beautiful. Killed 800. 67. I lost more, actually. So maybe that wasn't a great idea. But anyway, we're going to do retreat to Rubria with this army. And hope that they try and siege the mountains. Stability is increased. That was from a cute event that I didn't look at. That seems to happen quite a lot. Shipwrecked. Alright, so if I lose the money, I get local import route in Tarentum. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's dangerous, but I'm going to go for it. Go into the negative ducats. It can really hurt, but it, it can also be really good. I lost only five stability. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Now we're on negative zero, because that's a thing. But I need to win this, hopefully. Come on. Didn't win it. And you are wanting to attack me. Equal generals, I have the forest penalty. There's no river penalty. My troops are better. I feel like I've probably got this in the bank, especially as I've got another 4,000 weak um, italic bitches in my favor as well. Friend in need. Oh, really? Again? I was at negative zero. That was unnecessary. That was super unnecessary. I mean, wait more would be nice, though. Well, leave it for now. Leave it for now. Let's keep the money. Right, so the fight's going on. I just saw that I killed twice as many. It's interesting that, like, we've got the supply trains in the center. They're supposed to be on the wings and not involved in the battle at all until they're necessary. Anyway, that went badly for you, but I, I mean, I, again, I lost some supply train for no reason. Shouldn't have happened. Anyway, 14%. Didn't take it. Food situation. Uh, I mean, we're doing okay. We've still got 100 units of food. We lose 649 a month. So we've got plenty of months left to spare. Bononia has been sieged. Very nice. So again, we don't want any of that. But we do want Placentia. So let's go over to Placentia and besiege it. So let's take... The, you go there. You go there. Stop these forts from being made. You need to siege this. Ooh, I think that's where you're moving to. 9th of March. Am I going to get there in time? You're going to get there on the 8th of March. Oh, perfect. You don't get an extra fort level, you bastard. One day away. <laughs> now going to be finished on the 10th. Now the 11th, 13th, 14th, 15th. Fucking love it. Alright, let's gain 5 stability. Fantastic. That's exactly what I need. Let's go for Placentia now. Actually, no. What you need to do is... Can I actually peace out you? Not until I've got full occupation. Let's do that. I think you need to stay in the region because you've got two large armies here. If they meet up and attack me together, then I'm fucked. Do not want. Cannot have. Are there any boyans here? Yeah, this 18k boy, I need to get rid of them. You can do that by winning this siege. Oh, who's going to win the siege? I'm going to win the siege race by one day. This helps, actually. Now the boy are out. So, if I full annex you and Kona goes free, 
or I could make you release Ancona. But I want this and I want this. I, fuck it, release Ancona as well. <laughs> Full annex annexation and the release of Ancona. Fair enough. Could make you my subject, but nah, not necessary. All right, so um, peace. Click to open up the peace negotiation screen. This is the peace negotiation screen. This is the send you the peace screen. All right, so uh, I would actually like some popularity, so I'm going to go with that. And Kona is now free. We can offer him an alliance. Uh, what I'm going to do though is. Actually, improving opinion would not do anything. Offering him alliance, that would possibly allow me to have him uh, join me a bit easier. Um, hmm, we'll see. This fort is going to stay there because it's bloody good. Well placed. Uh, as soon as I siege this. No. What I'm going to do is get over to Placentia. It would be good to fall next Ling Lingonia, let's be honest. Because then that's only, what, three provinces between, you know, mountain to mountain. That's very, very defensible. Unfortunately, this is farmland, so maybe I would want this. Then that makes it three, sorry, four provinces. This is the, the smallest area although one two three here but this is also farmland it's farmland in the center that's not good fuck it it's fine anyway uh it's gonna have to be done in the next episode though because for right now i am going to take a short break here thank you all very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you did feel free to click the like button let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye for now